Welcome to Double Across, the crossword game for the 21st century. Double Across is a word game that lets you unleash the real power of your vocabulary in a new and modern crossword game. Each player starts with all of the letters they'll need to play the complete game. At the top of the screen is the scoreboard, where we can see the players' names and their scores. If the game is a timed game, to the far right of the scoreboard, we will see the timer. Also note that touching the timer pauses the game. Below the scoreboard, we can see the playing field where there are 2,304 squares. This is where we place the tiles to form words for our gameplay. Near the center of the playing field, we see an arrow or cursor. To select a square on the playing field, simply touch it. Change the cursor from horizontal to vertical by touching it again. Another touch changes the cursor back to horizontal. Below the playing field, we see the keyboard. Notice that some letters have numbers. These numbers display how many of each letter remain in the player's letter bank. For example, each player has four R's at the beginning of the game. In the lower right corner of the keyboard, you see the Hide Keyboard button, which, as you might expect, hides the keyboard. To get the keyboard back into view, just touch the top edge of the keyboard that is still visible near the bottom of the screen. Also on the right side of the keyboard is the Menu button, which brings up the Game Menu. Other keys on the right side of the keyboard are the Delete key, the Done key, and the Tiles key. In addition to the keys just mentioned, there is also a Buy key at the bottom left, which is used to buy letters. We will discuss these keys as we play a sample game. Let's get started, shall we? The iPad randomly picks the starting player. In this case, player two. Player two begins by touching begin to dismiss the dialog box, selecting a square on the playing field and placing his chosen word, artifact. Notice how the perspective score is tallied as you add letters to the playing field, as shown on the small number at the bottom right of the most recently played letter. When the Done key is pressed, the iPad checks to see if the word is in the dictionary, and if so, scores it accordingly, one point for every letter times the number of new intersections. The first word played is worth the number of letters it contains. Player 3 is up next, and after checking his letters, he touches Begin. Player 3 decides to move the cursor into place by touching right below the R and then types E-S-C-U-E-D to form the word rescued. To move around on the screen, just swipe the screen right or left, up or down. To help see more of the board, we can zoom out a little by touching the board in two places and pinching. To zoom in, we perform the opposite gesture. Player 3 finishes his turn by pushing Done. Player 1 presses Begin and decides to move the cursor to write the word Becoming. To begin the second round, Player 2 presses Begin and decides to move the cursor under the F and to write the word filing. The word file-ing is not in the dictionary because it is misspelled. There are only two I's in the word, not three. Also, keep in mind that double across allows each word to be played only once. Players aren't penalized for misspellings or duplicates but are allowed to make corrections in the time remaining. 
The correction is made using the backspace or delete key, deleting the G, the N, and the I, and then replacing the N and the G. For his next turn, player 3 chooses being. Since the score is multiplied by the number of new intersections created, player 1 tries noodling after the N in filing. If a player no longer has a letter that he or she wishes to place, he will not be able to proceed until he pushes the buy key on the keyboard. Purchased letters have differing prices, depending on the flexibility and usability of the letter in question. Notice the letter G costs two points, as shown on the badge at the bottom left of the letter G. Without having to buy G, player 1 would have scored 36 points, but now his score is only 30 points. He decides to try a different word by deleting the letters and reorienting the cursor. Player 1 now wants to use the word nose. Player 2 has seen the 36 points that Nose has made for Player 1, and so wants to capitalize on that fact by adding a D to the end of Nose, making Nosed. You can imagine Player 2's disappointment when there are only two points awarded. This is because there are no new intersections created so the multiplier is only one half, and this total is rounded down. A similar penalty befalls the next player, player three, who tries placing noodled. Also, player three needs to buy a D to finish noodled. Player three uses the buy key to buy a D. Here again, the point count is reduced because no is lengthened and only one new intersection is made. Player 1 demonstrates the power of S and shows clearly why S's cost so much. By adding S to artifact, he gets to count its original eight letters in addition to the points he makes from saddle. Players can also enter the Tiles mode by selecting the Tiles mode from the keyboard. While in Tiles mode, tiles are dragged onto the board and set into place. This action replaces typing on the keyboard. To remove tiles, touch the X in their upper left-hand corner. Remember to use the Delete key when not in Tiles mode. And here is another important tip to remember. When time is running out, it is a good idea to put a possible word on the board while searching for a better choice. In this example, player 2 has put down two letters, but is looking for a better play. Since the letters are in place, the computer will try to score the word, if the time runs out. If a player chooses not to play, cannot play, or doesn't place a legitimate word, the turn is counted as a pass. Play continues in this manner until a player's letters are used up or all players pass consecutively. At the end of the game, the number of letters left in a player's letter bank are deducted from his score. That's about it for our guided tour. Remember, when beginning a new game, be sure to go to the options menu to select the dictionary and language to be used and whether or not proper nouns are allowed. Additional information can be found in the Help menu. Here you'll find the official rules, frequently asked questions, and additional odds and ends, for example, how to hook up a Bluetooth keyboard. Also, check this out. Double Across lets you compete against a number of really interesting AI personalities, 
such as Jane Austen, Mark Twain, and more. To get started, just touch New Game from the main menu. Good luck and have fun! Hang on to your hat. You're in for a real treat.